Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival. Roleplay with our child of Adam Ghoul. And we are in Far Harbor. The beautiful, the scary, the terrifying, irradiated fog with the ornery people who apparently are able to survive and do well. So, a couple of interesting new things that I found. For one, if you're in need of water, all those bottles that I collected, I actually was able to fill up with seawater and it turns into dirty water. Bring it on. You can then turn the dirty water into purified water here, which is useful, but keep in mind that you get three dirty waters to one purified water. So you will, whatever the number of bottles that you have until we find a good purified water spot, you're going to be collecting lots and lots of bottles to be able to make on the purified water. And that's extra important because out here in this fog, this fog is in fact irradiated. Our character being a ghoul doesn't receive any. I was able to figure that out and discover, yes, in fact, if your character is human, you will receive radiation and be taking Radex to survive out here. Potentially, you will be wearing some radiation protection equipment. But the thing is, is if you're on survival and taking Radex, you get thirsty a lot, which means you'll need a lot of water. And if they don't have a water pump, which I haven't been able to discover, dirty water is going to be your main way of getting any form of purified water. Also, a couple interesting new notes. It turns out that there are some new perks added to our game because of just Far Harbor Edition. You can see this here in Action Boy has a new perk that you're now at 75%, faster AP regeneration rate. Lone Wanderer gets up to 25 more action points, not just 25% more damage, which is sick. Strong back, you can now, when encumbered, running costs 50 less percent less action points. So check it. Gain carry weight, carry weight. You can use action points to run, now 50% less. Critical banker can now go up to four critical hits saved in vats. So some other things. As I was going through our new legendary pickups that we got, none of them are really that good for what we need. The fortifying leather right arm is a right arm. Ghoul Slayer right leg is a right leg. These are we need a new left leg if we can of a legendary piece the ap is cool but honestly i prefer what we have as a right arm which is the turn invisible ghoul thing reduces human damage that's one that we keep the this is reflects i would take anything like this but the problem is this is where we have our bolstering alloy which is just incredibly powerful so we're not going to be re removing that really for anything and of course we don't really use the resilient submachine gun because we're not that kind of character now, I was remembering something about our character that I kind of forgot, which is that I really like to try to win the speech checks to get more money. We're in general a nice person, but for a lot of these kind of jobs that we're supposed to do to help out the harbor, why not just ask for a little bit of money to see if we can get that extra experience as well? Let's turn in this mission too, by the way. hero of our saga returns triumphant. Ha ha! I bet the island didn't see that coming. It's only right you get paid for your troubles. Here's 200 caps for you. Thank you. Let's see if we can do more money. I think I deserve more than that. I suppose I could pardon for a little more. Here's another 100 caps. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? Kind, gentle, doting, love to spoil you. You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody would. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. Grandpappy! So, my sympathies. I'm sorry. Nice person. You must have been very fond of him. Everybody was. But that didn't matter to the island. Oh, no. He was cursed the moment he was born adult. He had a farm a little ways north of here. Lived a peaceful life. Work in the land and not causing anyone trouble. The island sent something after him. A huge monster. Great. Mean as spit and with claws to snap steel beams. A fog crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground. A shotgun in his hands, holding off that terror while the farmhands fled back here. If you can take out that shellback devil, It'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been wronged. Well, that sounds terrifying, but why that not? That fog crawler's gonna pay for Grandpa George. <laughs> for That's Grandpa George! Spirit. All right, so I don't know what a fog crawler is. I'm imagining it's something massive. Anyway. So, other thing is we have another potential mission we could pick up. 
which is to help the Mariner, which is just right over here. The Hello, Mariner. To be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. Happy they to call help. me the Mariner, shipwright, handyman, and the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, besides Captain Avery. Lucky you're here. It sounds lucky you're here. You blowing smoke up my sails. Normally they say uh, up my ass, but hey, whatever. But there is. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 is a lot. 450 caps if you can, though. Yeah, let's see if we can up our reward. So I'd be risking my life for only 450 caps. <sighs> I'm a bit short on caps. But I have old Jimmy's shotgun I can give you. Heavens Whoa. no, he can't use it anymore. I'll help. Sign me up. Jimmy's help. shotgun. Google's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Awesome. So let's get a good look about where these two locations are. All right, so Blood Tide is up north along this road, which we've actually walked up, but then we cut through here and explored this area. So this is actually really close, so I'm not too worried about this, because if this distance is so close, this distance shouldn't be too bad. Ooh, Hole Breach is significantly farther, but it's actually a pretty easy walk if we go hit, hit, hit. And potentially we could go back just straight through this way if we wanted to, or we could walk safely back around. Ooh, an Oceanarium. I love Aquariums. Is that an Aquarium, basically? Just a different word for it? Also, we could do Longfellow, who, uh, still back here. I mean... Remember, we picked up the, uh, that point of interest thing? Ooh, they've got a boat over here. Uh, the MS Azalea. Cool. This, oh, yeah, this is Acadia. Okay, so that means that he would take us here. Thanks to the point of interest map, we know exactly where we're going, which is very different than where we'd be going if we were going to, uh, Dalton or the Tannery. But I think we let's do Blood Tide. Let's continue moving along this way because it's fun. And then we can start breaking off to do Acadia in a little bit. Because we're collecting money right now, which will be really good for that suit of armor we're trying to get. Take it one day at a time. Oh, yeah. And this is another thing that's a super bummer. Remember the guy who was on the bed? If you don't save him when you first come in, he's Lost just dead. Andre. It never gets easy. Please tell me you're feeling well at least. Yeah, I'm uh, feeling all right, which it's just a bummer because I thought that we'd get back here, we'd have our new Looking intelligence all ready to go, and it turns out, no, no, we don't. So I don't know if this is a confession or just, to, you know, an FYI. I lost the audio of me playing this the first time. Uh, by lost, I somehow turned off the audio recording. So anyway, I know what's going to happen up to a certain point. It's actually still pretty interesting because I'm kind of excited about a second chance at a few interesting things that will be coming up. First thing that's interesting is that I learned that I could just bolt through a huge section of this area. There are no more bad guys because we killed so many of the ghouls in this little harbor area to our right. I also learned that this house was completely empty. There is nothing in it. It just uh, is a bit of a facade. Also, not really anything in any of these other houses, but... There are a couple ghouls in here. And if you line this shot up just right, you can pick off this one through the door. And it just makes you feel like a sharpshooter. Another ghoul. Take him out. There's going to be a third ghoul in the kitchen to our right. Hello, ghoul bro. Get out of here. Done. Now, what I actually missed the first time I came in here was a rat away, which is going to be very useful on survival mode as we're going through here, or even if you're not in survival mode. But typically, if you're out here, ooh, Vim. I'm going to talk about this in a second. Typically, if you're out here, though, you're going to be wanting to use uh, some rat away if you can. Now, this is a part that I thought was hilarious. We have all these people who were, I guess, either really had to poop or were trying to run into the outhouse to be protected from the bombs, which turned out the bombs actually didn't knock down the outhouse knock everybody over but my favorite thing was that someone was literally dropping a bomb there was grenades in here nothing straight if you go to the poop spot though there is nothing of interest in this spot just an ice thing with a wrench now one thing i thought was interesting is we did not see any vim on the commonwealth which it's 
you know, in a place that has Coca-Cola and Pepsi, you typically see some places with Pepsi and it's not as much just one location that only serves, and I mean like an entire city that only serves one drink. But apparently this place just does Vim and uh, Commonwealth just does Nuka-Cola. You can see on the map we've actually caught about just past the Cliff Hotel and we're about halfway to where we need to go. It is once again totally safe. Nothing comes out and surprises you. But a little friend does show up. And unfortunately, the little friend did not show up this time. It's a rabbit and it's irradiated and it's called a rad rabbit. And it's awesome because it's so totally radical. But it kind of makes sense that this, you know, the fog is so irradiated that people who are like, are people, creatures that live in the fog would become just irradiated constantly. Also, this is a place where I happen to die. Somebody in here had a harpoon gun. And that harpoon gun killed me in one shot. I, uh, I knew it was going to be dangerous because I'd actually watched someone else's playthrough. And they got hit by a harpoon gun and took half their health. And they were level 40 and playing on hard rather than on form of survival. So I don't know if there's going to be a spawn this time. It was a legendary dude. That's a harpoon gun. That's a harpoon gun right there. The legendary guy killed us in one hit with his harpoon gun. Alright, we're going to try to be safe and smart about this. Molotov. And we're seen! Run! Hide! Take cover! Holy crap. You're the harpoon guy? Perfect. Critical shot to your head. Done. It's nice to get a level up off a of critical. Perfect. Uh, next dude does not have a harpoon. 93% chance to hit you. Perfect. Had a sawn off shotgun we're pretty safe from back here okay so you'll see the brackets are wibbly a little bit that's just a couple mire lurks that are on the beach we don't have to, have to really worry about those guys too much harpoons be terrified of harpoon guns that's 173 damage that is doing more damage than anything that i have even with all the level ups Keep that in mind, they're very powerful. In fact, if you were to run into the Legendary Admiral's Friend version of the Harpoon Gun that does double damage at full health. Ooh, check out those legs. That's awesome. These Trapper legs, I think, look really cool. You know, our leg does 9 protection for 2. This does 9 for 7. Potentially, we could actually pick one of these up and just level them up and see how much better it is. I'm going to grab uh, both of them and we'll see. And we'll check that out. Now, there is a bed here note that so if you're uh, on your way out going up north you can find that bed and be safe careful with the mire lurks that are down here holy crap that's a legendary okay we're gonna try using some explosives to do this here we go get him not dead second hit doing well all right, all right. Let's pull out the uh, Matorata. Get ourselves... Ooh, the shell's the only thing we can really hit right now. All right, well, let's go for the shell and get ourselves... That critical. That's all I want. Perfect. So that we can do another critical shot to its face later. Oh, I'm hearing him. I'm seeing him. Seeing him. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Ooh. That's a different legendary Mylurk. All right. Critical, to the face. All right, it's gonna start healing up pretty soon. Oh, I hate my, oh, hi! Critical again. And just bolt, just fucking bolt. Just bolt, bolting. Okay, get to, <gasps> finally, I get to do my damn trick. Throw out the mine. Oh, come on, you assholes. Don't tell me I already fucked up your pathing. Serious, oh, there you are. Molotov. Perfect. Holy crap, that was not enough. Okay. Shoot in the face again. Oh, God. All right. Crippling hunting rifle. More limb damage. It's pretty cool. Not what we need, but... Oh, and the next one. And this one's already been hit. By... An... Nice. Interesting. Hunter's combat knife. 
I love all these legendaries we're getting. I'm bummed out none of them are very useful. So I guess they're, oh yeah, mutated ferns. If you uh, pick these and take them back to Diamond City, so if you're on normal mode, you can actually sell a lot of those and get some good stuff from them. Oh, they're just hanging out of the, the house. All right, so that actually worked out pretty well. I was a little bummed that I didn't have the previous legendary, but then we got to fight the Mirelurk legendaries. Get two not useful things, but hey, it's a start. Now, there's another exciting event that is it's just about to come around, and I've seen this on the internet a couple times, so I'm excited to show you guys when we finally hit it. First, we're picking up some Blight. Don't know what it does. Holy fuck, what? Going angler? All right, wow, that's some high. Cre Am I on fire? It shoots fire. I right, got some healing going. Holy shit, it's fast! What the hell? That's my twenty-second death. So that did not happen to me the first time that I uh I went through here. I did not run into an angler that was so powerful. Okay, so I picked up the harpoon gun because that might actually work pretty well for an extremely high damage shot against something like that. I mean, it's not what we typically would use, but Jesus Christ. That also makes me kind of glad about the next thing that we're gonna stumble into. Because they talked about that fog crawler, right? And how big it was and scary. I don't know what a fog crawler is, but it doesn't sound fun. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Perfect. It's this Vim refresh truck. See the silhouette? You can find it on the map in this extremely bright spot. There you go. Right at this little crook. Come on in. You meet a dude named Carlos. Carlos on the note says, hey, dude, they seem to be only angry at our a, a power suits, so uh, just ditch it next time you're attacked. But the thing is, is, you can clearly see that that didn't work. He is killed and dead after being here. But this is a new suit of power armor. It is a one that you've seen before, but it's designed like Vim. Like uh, the whatever the new Coca-Cola thing is. You can see on the arms that it's this green. You've got Vim Refresh. Now, after that little angler fight, I'm totally cool with grabbing this to move forward to fight whatever that crawler is. Because that's a mission character. So... I, I'd be just fine with having a little bit of extra protection. All right, I'm just jamming vats right now as I'm walking through here. Oof. Oof. I hate walking in suits of power armor. It just, it really takes away your ability to see what's going on. And now I'm just kind of looking for a bed because... Actually, we haven't really gone that far. Hold on, what's the laundered launch or the laundered loungewear? Oh, gotcha. Charisma and endurance. This might have what we're looking for. Oh, it's dead. I was thinking it was going to be another one of those. Oh, it's an eyewash station. What an interesting thing to have. Eyewash station. I wonder what was going on here that they felt like eyewash stations were going to be useful. Oh, God. I hear something. Is it the glowing angler? All right. I have the... Uh, that's how much damage our thing's gonna do. Let's just back off. <laughs> uh oh. What am I in danger to? Probably a ghoul. That sounds about right. Probably a ghoul. I hope it's a ghoul. Because we can kill a ghoul. We've killed lots of ghouls. That's what we do. We kill ghouls. Please don't be a glowing angler. Alright, our danger is going away. So if it is the glowing angler, we're safe from it now. This is aiming on the harpoon gun. You just lean a little bit closer. So you don't turn invisible when you're wearing a suit of power armor and you have the nanofilament invisible thing. Frag mines, huh? Well, that works for me. I'm fine with picking up some frag mines. I'm going to put this away now. Just make our way across the bridge. Hope Hopefully there won't be anything that requires us to use the frag mines. Like, that are already laid down. I We'd rather pick them up and just have them for ourselves. Could you imagine all these exploding, though? God, this would just demolish everything. Umbrella, Ella, Ella. Ooh, we are within sight. 
God, I like the color of the armor. It is really cool looking. I mean, I'm happy that we picked it up because this is going to be very useful against fighting whatever this crawler thing is. I, I didn't make it to this far when I was playing it before. All right, I see a light. That must be them. I see some damaged buildings and the stuff. Oh, man, just find a bed and just save before whatever the hell it is shows up. I'm not turning on the light. We found the farm. I hope the crawler didn't do this. This might also be the first settlement you're able to locate. All right, apparently it's just over in this direction. Oh, water. Oh, that's cool. I don't know what that is. That thing that's like kind of staying still. I feel like that's going to be the entire crawler. Oh, shit. What? It just told me to look back this way. Okay, so I guess they just want me to explore the farm a little bit. Our hidden brackets are dropping, though. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. What is it? Where is it? Fog crawler. There it is. We're in caution. 200 ballistics protection. Oh, man. Okay, dudes, that is it. So, uh, oh man, I'm deciding if we're gonna fight it right now. I'm gonna do some preparation before we fight it, which is why I'm, I think I'm gonna call the episode here because this thing is gonna be probably pretty crazy to fight. So I wanna do my very best to give the biggest chance that we have to taking it out. And that means I'm gonna do some preparation and that's gonna take a little bit of time. So before we do that, dudes, thank you so much for being here. It was a total joy to have you. Yes, I know, cliffhanger, right before we're about to fight it. You have the terror, the fearful, the moment of the freaking fall. I mean, we saw what happened with that anglerfish thing. So I want to just back off, set some minds, and we're going to be smart about it. All right, dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button over to the side. New end card so i'm still getting used to that and of course may the ground rise to meet your feet may the wind always be at your back and may the sunshine warmly on your sexy sexy face dudes see you later bye